This video will get you started with WordPress, setting up a blog, and it will help show you a little bit about um, the administrative panel in WordPress where you'll be doing a lot of the back-end work. An important note when you start, if you're creating a blog, it's a free blog, um, you want to use WordPress.com to set it up. WordPress.org uh, is a different site altogether. So if you see this WordPress.org, it's got the black background, you're in the wrong place for this purpose. So you want to be on WordPress.com and you'll notice on the home page you can just click on this icon create a blog. If you already have a WordPress blog, you can log in through that account and create a new blog under your same ID. And I'll show you how to do that in a minute. Um, assuming you don't have a blog at all, just select create blog and you'll have to come up with an ID, uh, an address for your WordPress blog. So try to think of something that is um, in tune to what you're doing. So if I was doing this for the class Journalism 135, um, I might type that in. You'll see it, it will tell you if someone already has that site. Um, so you can try different combinations. You know, we can do Journalism 135 SCSU, see if anyone has that. Um, and a little check mark will show up if it's free. So this is where you will sign up for your login info. You need to have a unique email address, um, something you haven't used before for a different blog. If you use the same email, you can actually log in through that uh, the different way. And your username and password are the username that you'll use when you sign into WordPress in the future. So now we're in the administrative panel for the WordPress blog. Um, what you'll notice in WordPress is your home page, you'll usually see this page show up. This is sort of your dashboard. Um, you can switch between, if you have more than one site, you can come here to switch between those two sites. Now, one of the things you'll notice is there's this um, icon that says WP Admin. If you're used to using WordPress and you're used to the old administrative panel, this is the link you can click to get back there. Um, WP Admin has a lot more uh, strength. You can do a, a lot more uh, fine tuning when you're editing there. But you can also do sort of the simple publishing uh, field, which is right here on this main screen. So if I wanted to add posts, I can do it right from here, or I can select WP Admin. Uh, to come to this old administrative panel. Now if you want to make a new blog with your old login, you can do so by selecting switch site and then you'll see an option at the bottom <clears throat> that says add new WordPress. Once you select that, you're back on that same page as if you were starting over. The only difference is now this will be grouped with your other blogs. So if you created a new blog it will show up in your list here. And you can have multiple sites. Um, this really helps so you don't have to remember different passwords, you don't need different email addresses, you can just sign up all at once.